Friday marks Native American Heritage Day, and here in the Bay Area, we are on the land of many different tribes, including the Moekma Ohlone, and we have highlighted local efforts by indigenous people to preserve their languages and also their cuisine. Joining me now is Chef Crystal Wapepa of the Kickapoo Nation of Oklahoma. She actually just celebrated a grand opening of her restaurant, Wapepa's Kitchen in Oakland, which honors native dishes. So thank you so much for being here and congratulations. Thank you. So before we delve a little bit deeper into the significance of this day and your work, tell me what exactly drew you to move out west and then establish a Native American owned business in Oakland? Well, I was born and raised here. Um, my grandfather was actually in the Navy. Um, he came out here in the 1955s. And then um, <clears throat> I always been around here in the Native community, um, born and raised, went back and forth to Oklahoma and always put two and two together of not seeing a Native American restaurant out of the Bay Area, I have so many beautiful restaurants to offer. Um, I always wondered why. And so I end up educating myself and putting myself into it. That's super exciting. So you are a Bay Area local. I need to correct that. Um, <laughs> and so investing back into the community that brought you up, really, and what's it like to be one of the only Native American business owners here and to be able to uh, spread your culture by way of food? Oh, it's it's beautiful, um, especially when um, I'm over in the Fruit Bell Bart Station and um, you see different people that I grew up with and also elders from the community to come into the restaurant. And there's times where they say they never thought they'll see something like this ever in their lifetime. And then um, it is the most beautiful thing ever. And um, it is long work to be done and a long more work for, um, for Wapipas Kitchen to be busy. Well, there are many things that make up a culture. Food is, of course, a major component. So how are you preserving native ways of life through your restaurant? Oh, a lot, um, especially honoring the land that we're on. We're on Ohlone land. I'm Kickapoo and I'm Sac and Fox. My tribe is from Oklahoma. And it's something that um, I always was taught about respecting our foods and how we present it on a plate. Um, right now, I'm part of the Native American um, food produce and um, we source from different Native American um, food produces around here in the Bay Area and also around the nation. And it's something that I've been working hard for probably for the past 10 years. And I finally got to be where I want to be in my business of just actually ac accessing all these beautiful foods and to offer it to our community. And it's something that's very vital um, in our community for our Native American youth to see. And so what are some of the traditional dishes? I'm seeing pictures of the menu. We see some uh, bison, blue corn meatballs, salmon, of course, is a major staple, especially for local tribes here. And what uh, really sets the food apart from traditional, uh, other traditional foods? Well, um, I always make dry corn soup, and that is something um, that's very traditional in my tribe. And that's something, one of the first dishes I ever made with my grandmother and what we harvest. And so I offer that. And then I also offer a kickapoo chili. A kickapoo chili is like a spicy chili, and we serve that with cornbread. And then there's something that I kind of learned along the way. Um, I end up wanting to be more creative with native foods, how am we gonna present it to people in the community as I catered for the past 12 years. And so one of our popular dishes is actually the bison um, blue corn berry meatball. Um, it's really good in protein, very healthy. We have no egg products inside of it. And then um, I offer different squash dishes. Um, just um, we have our buffalo squash, we have our acorn squash, we have our Hubbard squash. Um, so we're in squash season right now. So everything that you see at our restaurant is actually is harvest and is something that we serve in season. So right now we're in the fall season. So you'll see a lot more fall dishes and the picture you'll see more 
um, we have a smoked cedar sweet potato tostada. And one of our popular dishes has been our blue corn waffle. And that comes with the homemade housemade berry sauce. All of our maple is tapped for us two times a year. We have the maple cream, the squash blossom cornbread. It's something that is really celebrating Native American cultures all over the place. But I try to keep more to home what I know. And as me being raised and born and raised here in California, and also my children are California natives. And I always try to present that in a good way on the plate where people from the community, if they say if they're California native or if they're Apache, for instance, they can be really familiar when they come to the restaurant and they can see something they can relate to. And I think that is very vital to our community, especially our native youth and our elders when they come in. But then also at the same time, people that has never tried Native American cuisine before, um, they always are surprised to find out what is here from this land. Oh, Crystal, you are making me so hungry with all that <laughs> delicious <laughs> descriptions. Um, can you tell me who was an inspiration in your life and who taught you these traditional recipes and end ended up passing this down over the generations? Oh, my goodness. Definitely my community. I grew up in the Intertribal Friendship House, and that's where it's located in here in Oakland. And that's somewhere a lot of different tribes celebrate um, their cultural and foods and things like that. But I'm going to say the most is my grandmothers and my aunties. Um, it was till this day it's a family tradition that how we harvest corn how we cook it um just for birthdays or how it's cooked just for any holiday or even just a gathering and that's something that is very cultural traditional into our families so i love harvesting native foods <laughs> what's it been like over these years to really see this sort of shift that i feel like we are witnessing from uh, considering Native American people as people of the past and really coming together and realizing we are on Mawakma a lonely land here. Your tri you know, Native people are alive, they are thriving, uh, and people like you are creating more Native spaces for the whole community to be welcomed into and to learn more about. It's something, um, and I always say, this is something, um, there's a right time, right place. And I'm gonna say right now is the right time and right place. It's something for health and wellness and um, cultural to keep one for the language, two for um, our foods and actually keep these foods um, alive and to actually um, serve them to our community, especially to our youth so they can be more visible and see it. Um, especially in today's time, we have so many different cultural restaurants, which I find very beautiful but at the same time, I want people to come into Wapipaw's Kitchen and have that same feeling of being prideful and how beautiful our foods are. And language is, of course, a really big deal, too. So is there a word or two that you want to share with us and teach our viewers? Um, yes, I have. When you come into the restaurant, you see Aho Pikoni, that means welcome and Kickapoo language. Well, thank you so much for t sharing. This is a really exciting step for you. I know you started out as a food truck and now you have this uh, grand opening that happened recently of your restaurant there. And let's uh, share with our viewers. It's over at 3301 East 12th Street, Suite 133 in Oakland's Fruitvale District. It's open Wednesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. if you'd like to head out there and support, again, uh, Crystal and her efforts there in preserving the Native American culture. And uh, thank you for joining us here on Native American Heritage Day. Yes, thank you for asking. <laughs> well, Vice President Kamala Harris is also marking Native American Heritage Day. She tweeted, we celebrate the contributions of Native peoples and honor their influence on our nation. We will continue to uphold our treaty responsibilities, strengthen tribal sovereignty, and advance tribal self-determination. You're watching Cronon. We're gonna have more news right after the break.